Shalom, Shalom, Yah Sharala. We gotta give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh, Mashem, Yahushai, Mashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone that teach and rule well in citations unto the red men, feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Mashem, Yahushai, sincerity and truth. This is your brother Kawaya from GMS Chicago. Brother Mafia Eyes from Yahweh, the Washington, D.C. camp. And um, we're back at you, brothers, with another lesson to what? Edify the hopeful elect. Because it's all about edification, right? It's not about self um, promotion, <laughs> right? Like these other camps, they're really about themselves. They're about getting money. But shit, we're here to warn the people. That's right. Whether they're here or prepare, right, Elder? I mean, right, on. That's right. Come on. I got a precept for you, uh, Zaquan. Uh, this is the book of St. Mark, chapter 3, starting off in verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Oh, so here we are living in a society where the kingdom is fully divided. Why? Because you got Edomites in rulership. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right? The wicked are the Caucasian nations. The Caucasian nation. Right? Esau, Edom. And where you got Esau, Edom? You got Esau Edom in France. You got Esau Edom in Britain. You got Esau Edom in Spain. You got Esau Edom in America, in Canada. But guess what? They don't all get along with each other. You got Esau Edom in South Africa. Right? You got the BRICS. You got Esau Edom in fucking Russia. <laughs> you got the BRICS. And then you got NATO. Two groups set up by Edomites and they don't get along with each other. That's one house divided. And also here in fucking America, you got Joe, sleepy Joe Biden. Donald Trump, the Republicans, the Democrats, they will not get along for anything. And it's set up for them not to get along. Don't forget, all this is set up by the elites, right? Because the elites need the people fighting while they're robbing and stealing and taking everything. But now more than ever, we see that house is fully divided because they can't agree with nothing. You got one you got one group of them saying, um, free the Palestines, let's fight for the Palestines. The other group don't give a fuck. That's right. right? You got one group letting the migrants come in, the other group don't give a damn. So America's messed up right now, fully divided. Come. On. Verse 25. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. You know, like the beloved brother just said, man, you know, we see that division, man. And like he said also, too, you got the elites, the uh the you wish people that is controlling everything. All this stuff is what? A distraction. So you can't see the bigger picture and what's really going on behind the scenes, which actually is really in front of your face. You know? And just oh, like yeah, they don't do no more. Con. Exactly. And also just just like take the uh the, the presidential, the first presidential debate, which was nothing but a damn uh comedy stand up show, man. You know? <laughs> it was very, very funny, man. Okay. <laughs> Sleepy Joe Biden. We're at the time, right? Even your politicians don't care about it. What does Donald Trump care about? He's thinking about revenge on these motherfuckers who got him in court. When yep. he get back in office, he ain't thinking about fixing America. That's he right. gotta worry about World War Three. He gotta worry about these stupid court cases he's been fighting. Right? That's right. And we know the spirit of Esau, the spirit of hate, the spirit of vengeance. Hey man, that's this that's what you the, hey look man the uh Zaquan hit it on the hit it on the nail, man, because that's the truth. Donald Trump is really worried about seeking and uh achieving revenge on those that went against him, man. Okay? His whole get talk is about that. Exactly. And, and and what's the other talk too <laughs> that he says about uh, you know, Sleepy Joe? He's the worst, the most worst president ever. 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 Yeah. And you know, mm -hmm. I mean the devil's the devil, you know what I'm saying? But he was making some valid points about certain things that, uh, you know, Sleepy Joe was doing, which, you know, he should, like, again, like Elder Manata, uh, so like Elder Malcolm also states that um, all these people do a lot of stuff against their constitution, man, which they break daily, man. You know, he's supposed huh. to be arrested. You got it, Zaquan. No, you, brother, the whole system is set up against their constitution. The whole system that's being ran right now is against the constitution. They're taking away people's rights to speech, people's rights to bear arms, people's rights to gather in public places, right? Come. What else? Um, this is society was supposed to be set up on um, what it says. There will be no taxation without proper representation, all this shit. They, that's why they separated from their mother, right? And they set up America, and here they in America taxing the shit out of people, right? Come. Matter of 
Let me let me hit you with this verse because it's all set up by your how about shimmy out shot. That's These right. Politicians don't control nothing. That's right. <laughs> right. All they doing really is running their mouths <clears throat> according to what the Lord. Quick, my brother. This is in the book of. Here we go. Proverbs twenty one and verse one. It says the king's heart mm. is born of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. Go ahead, brother. Hey man, like the brother, the the, the precept basically uh, is clear and cut and straight to the point. So it just lets you know that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is in control of everything that we see, man. And you know, as you know, Lord willing, that we're the prophets, we're enjoying seeing the downfall of our enemies, man. You know, we all we also saw a video. I'm pretty sure the uh, beloved brother saw it too. You had this um, dusty old, uh, nasty looking Edomite in his car crying about he can't make it. He needs help. Like, what's going on? You know, we love to see stuff like this. So seeing this stuff, man, it actually you know elevates our spirit, man. But yeah, how about Shimei Shai's control of everything? You got it. No, no, man, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> A Edomite, a Edomite crying, right? Matter of fact, let me, let me get to this other verse, right? Because <laughs> ain't nothing like a suffering Edomite. This second has just six and seven. It says, then, then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of that following? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. It says, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of the that follows. Right? These Edomites, they're witnessing the end of their society. Mm. And it, it's not pleasing to them. It's depressing. Right? That's why they got to take so much fucking drugs to, to cope with it. They didn't take so much drugs, they done OD'd and died. That's right. That's right. Look at California. Look at Philadelphia, man. It ain't just black motherfuckers homeless. It ain't just... Hispanics, it's a bunch of low life broke ass crackers. Calm. Calm. That um everything that, that they have set up in this society to come against us has backfired and fallen upon them, man. You know, just like the uh Zaquan just spoke about like the drugs and also the the uh, the, the, the divorce rate, uh the um single mother uh family homes, the title four D mm-hmm. child support. You know, and let me, let me grab this precept because the brother, you know, sparked this out. White women walking dogs. Yep. <laughs> this is the book of Sirach 10, verse 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people. And that's what Esau has shown what he's about, his destruction, man. He's not about, uh, he's anti-life, man. You know, so the fall of America is going to be a lot of people being destroyed, which a lot of people have always been destroyed continuously with the food, the chemtrails, okay, the, um, uh, uh, medical uh, 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 system, all that stuff, man. Mm. And unwise oh, the military, man. They don't send motherfuckers off the war to die. They knew your ass wasn't coming home. Come, come, and, and also too, look, look how they treat their veterans back here in, in the homeland, as they, as you see, they treat them like shit. And that's another point that you know uh, <laughs> that nigga Trump made. You know, look at the veterans, how you treat them, and you got uh, uh, aliens, as they say, coming in here and living and live in lavish hotels, but the veterans is, is living on the streets. Man, come on, man. You got motherfucking um, yeah, people that fought for their country, who done who done lost limbs for their country. Man, that motherfucker arm is still over in Iraq. Yep. But he in the middle of the homeless. Exactly. The uh, Sirach ten verse three: An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And that prudence is going to start with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, King David, the twelve and one hundred and forty-four thousand. Verse four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh. Okay, like the brother, you know, brought up Proverbs 21, I believe, verse 1. You know, the Lord controls all. Um, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's going to be Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Where the earth is going to be restored in order and righteousness, man. You got his acquaintance. And it's gonna be so profitable because right underneath you saw you know you don't turn your your um your plowshares into weapons of war, right? You done the money you were supposed to spend on agriculture and um feeding the people, man. You spending that money on war. So yep. in the kingdom, the Lord said, man, you are gonna turn all that bullshit fighting shit. You are gonna be using them weapons what to to bring food, yep. right? The Lord's gonna that's profitable, right? People following the laws and statutes, people living longer, people doing what is right in the sight of the Lord. That's profitable in the, in the, on earth. And it's going to start with Yahweh Shah, man. 
That's what the Lord's coming to fuck motherfuckers up. The Lord ain't coming to play games. He said anybody who ain't following him, bring them and slay them before me, man. That's right. That's right. I'm going to grab something else to back that, that statement that the beloved brother just made. And I'm going to grab St. Matthew's chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Okay. It's like you like your church, brother. Yeah, yeah, your church is evil. All you preach is hate, brother. All you preach is <laughs> division, brother. Why don't you preach love? Read that again for the retarded special letters, man. Yes, sir. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Okay. I'm about to clap motherfuckers up. Right. Yeah, first, the first thing we do is he's going to destroy the United States of America. That's right. You know how many souls? You know how many people are in this motherfucker? Mm. Right? The, the heathens ain't going to make it. The two thirds ain't going to make it. The only thing coming out of here is the elect. That's right. That's right. And like like our law states too, uh, Slack is a quan. Like our law states too, you know, it says you can't you can't shed the blood. Of uh, you know what? I'm just gonna read it, man. I don't want to butcher it. I'll just read it. So that blood, your your blood got to be shed, man. You know, thus saith for uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad not customs, man. Then this place is gonna be put on fire to be cleansed, man, completely. Yeah. And it says, thus by violence shall that great city be taken, be pulled down. Yeah, come because you know you took this place by violence, so it has to go down violently, man. Okay. Um, so this is the book of. Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Who, and who shed all the blood, men, on this land? Esau motherfucking Edom, the so-called self-proclaimed white cave beast, okay? So your blood got to be shed, man. Your blood got to be shed, and then this place going to be put on fucking fire, man. And then it's going to become a, a memorial for all people to see. Mm. God is a coin. Yeah, he's speaking nothing but truth. He's speaking nothing but truth. And um, I'm going to back the brother up too. Because the book of um, Psalms, let's go to this right quick. It says in the book of Psalms, I'm going to start at 59 verse 2. Mm, that's a heavy hitter. It reads, deliver me from the workers of iniquity. Mm. And save me from bloody men. From bloody men. Hey, they think Esau done shed blood. Wait till you find out the time of Jacob's trouble. The Lord said, what's coming? It ain't never been done on earth before. That's right. <clears throat> so we really about to see how bloody this man really is, right? It says, deliver me. That's why we need these, um, we, we send up these prayers. All right? The same prayers King David was sending up. We send up the same prayers. It says, Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgressions nor for my sins, O Yahweh. They run and prepare themselves without my fault, without my fault. Awake to help me and behold. Right? Because who else, who else we gonna go to for help? When the main killer on earth is in power, right? That's right. The main devil on earth is in power. The earth is in his rulership. You've seen niggas in talking about in Chicago. Man, we need to go to the UN for help, man. American, Washington, D.C. don't want to help us, man. The president don't want to help us, man. Let's go to the UN. Where the fuck you in been? That been over, what, seven, eight years? Mm-hmm. You were after what George Floyd, man. They gave George Floyd that knee, that, the knee to the neck. Niggas been asking for help. No fucking help came, right? So the Lord said what? It says, go... Though therefore, O Lord, power of hosts, the most high of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressor. <laughs> right? That's the spirit you gotta have, man. Mm -hmm. Amen, Lord. Papa Bisha, please get these Edomites. Come Right? Please get these Edomites. Please take them out of power, Lord. Papa Bisha. Come I mean, I'm going to back you up because, you know, it's something that a lot of you Israelites, or well, Salaki, I ain't going to call y'all Israelites because y'all still have the mentality of an American. So I'm going to call you African-Americans, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. A lot of you motherfuckers uh, have friendships, relationships, you know, all type of uh, confidence and trust in these devils, man. 
But I'm gonna read this. This said something really deep, it, man. It's a lot of them who's who has a friend now. I came now. I ain't listening to what y'all saying. That's racist. Man. I got a white friend. Mm-hmm. I got a white girlfriend. My mama white. Even, you know what I'm saying? These people they in relationships with the enemy. They yep. got personal got um got emotionally <laughs> attached to the enemy. So that's keeping them. Also, that's a stumbling block from your house. Uh, show me that's, right. that's right and that nigga at the office uh, uh, Chris Chris hates your fucking guts man Chris can't wait till you for the race wars to start this is the book of Sirach 8 I'm gonna start I'm gonna read verse 15 to 16 travel not by the way with a bold fellow lest he become grievous unto thee okay cause these devils are bold man because they know that they own you and they're in control okay so they know they can get away with certain things and be justified for the actions but continuing on for he, I'm talking to the spirit. You are you on fire. I'm talking to the sister. She said, "Man, I'm at the job." She said, "She said she had to quit on their ass." She said, "Man, I'm at the job. This motherfucker already told me what to do one day. He see me running the show. I'm getting. I'm, she said she in there for one week. They giving all kind of little quick awards and shit. Just for one week, and she got that mouthpiece. She said, "Man, a white boy hates so much. He come trying to check her and tell her what to do." She said, "Man, I'm out of here." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at this day boldness. Like motherfucker, what's wrong with you, man? And huh. she said he do he do that in front of people. They they be trying to show their power in front of people. They bold. They think they could run things. They think they're untouchable. Yep. They like nothing ain't gonna fucking happen to their asses. Yep. And, and that's crazy too, man. The Zaquan is saying that, man, because I just, hey, look, man, it's just it's all of the spirit, man. First and foremost, man. I was saying I was speaking about the same things yesterday at camp, man. You know because uh, these devils. They had that spirit of, you know, uh, I love you, you're my brother. We're all equal, but I'm, I'm in charge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pieces of shit, man. That's real talk. Come But uh, continuing on. For he will do according to his own will, like the brother just spoke about, man. For he will do according to his own will because they believe the way they perceive and see things is right and justified, man. Okay? And though, it's like, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Okay, and all you Negroes that are cleaving on to these people, you're going to fall with them, man, because of, the, of the bullshit that they push and, and what you uh, agree with, man. Verse 16, strive not with an angry man, okay, because this, this, this whole nation, okay, the, these Edomites are psychopaths, man. Okay, look up, look up that word, psychopath, man. Okay, strive not with an angry man and go not with him into a solitary place. And that, what, is that, what does that word solitary mean? It means like a place of... You know, being just by yourself with them, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Um, and a lot hey, of you just be on these uh, podcasts with the devil, man, with Vlad. Mm-hmm. Tell Vlad all they secrets. Vlad ain't told him nothing about him. That, Vla- they told they don't know nothing about Vlad. All they know this nigga, DJ Vlad. Yep. And Vlad want to be you. Vlad know everything about you, dumb. Like, who you done killed? Who you done shot at? Who you done murdered? <clears throat> you stupid, retarded fucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and Vlad want to be you. He, he he claiming your heritage. Come on, okay? man. And he claiming your heritage, man. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to continue on. Uh, and go not with him into a solitary place, for blood is nothing in his sight. And where there is no help, he will overthrow thee. So when, you know, these race riots, basically Jacob's trouble, you know, when it's here and you know it's here, a lot of you stupid ass Israelites are going to cleave on to these people and they're going to slaughter your asses, man. You got us a corn. Hey, the white boy gonna be like, man, come hang out with us, and you gonna be the motherfucker hanging. Mm. You gonna be the only motherfucker hanging. Yeah, you you gonna you gonna be the t- tonight and tomorrow's uh, dinner. Look, it's funny we talk about this. It, a monkey black bitch with a Mr. T haircut just just drove past. Her. <laughs> she got nothing but the, she got nothing but college flags out of her car. She one of them bitches who trust in Esau. Right, you can tell by the Mr. T haircut. Who, who told you? Who told your black ass to shave the side of your hair and, and look like a dyke and promote your college that you went to? Right, a bitch ain't supposed to be at college. A hoe's supposed to be at home, man. God is man taking care of the house and the, the kids. Right, prepare. Man, she got children. Prepare her daughter to be a good wife. That's right. Right. That's right. Fuck wrong with these women out here, man. These women look like like dog shit, man. That's another thing too. Unhealthy body ass women. They, they 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 talk about them big booty women. They don't know how to wipe their asses correctly. Bitches right? are so, nasty and, and dirty, man. Come on, huh? they say down in um, Houston, man. They said that pussy killing everything. Man, everybody got AIDS. Yeah, yeah, that, that shit, man. That, and that's that's also judgment from the Lord, and it's scary as hell, man. 
And it's also thankful for us, man, because shit, man, we was in the world, man. We was fucking all, all types of bitches, man. Man, dude, that's why I think the Lord, man, one brother said in one video, he said, man, why you think the Lord preserving these, keeping these women from me, man? That bitch pussy ain't right. Her pussy got bumps. Her, she got one, some kind of sickness. Man, them hoes is burning out. Let's keep it 100. Con. Con. Then we, this is called a well-favored heart of society. So we know the women ain't good, these men ain't good. Man, the Lord ain't helping him. And the Lord said he looked for a thousand women. He couldn't find one. So here you are in the city. Man, ain't none of these bitches want to give you no plate. Call her lawyer. I'm about to shoot me outside. Hey, and that's, that's, that's a beautiful point, too, because in that time... There was 40 years of peace and Solomon couldn't find one righteous woman amongst 40 years of peace. So imagine how it is now in this captivity, man. This is this. I look at, I go to one spot, man. You know, the chick, I see the chick, she see me. I look on the chick chest, man. I see a red ass rash. Mm. Like, what the fuck? So bad, I said, man, oh, hell no, in my mind. So then I go on the end, man, I come home, man. I get on my phone. Oh, shit, that HIV rash. You HIV, bro. Oh, hell no. That looked like the rash the bitch had on her chest. Mm. So it's just, man, you seen, man, the Lord, like, oh, hell no. Keep these dirty, filthy motherfuckers away from us, man. Declaring they sin is Sodom and Gomorrah openly, man. Not even covering that shit up, man. You want to let you know I got the shit. Come on, man. Come on. I would have had a motherfucking turtleneck and a bulletproof vest on, man. I don't, nobody <laughs> would have that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going to grab this precept, Isaiah chapter 14, I'm going to start off at verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, for I will raise up against them, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and cut hey, off... We, we say, why, we, why, we, why we got to pay for our father's sins? Mm -hmm. Why we got to pay? We didn't do that. That was our forefathers who did that. Well, guess what this verse just said? Prepare slaughter for his children for what your forefathers did. That's right. Why are you enjoying the benefits of what your forefathers did? Con. And that goes into what y'all always say on, in, in, in Congress, on news, and social media sites. Well, our fathers did that. Well, the Lord is saying you got to pay for that. We had to pay. And you are your forefathers, you know, technically. And we had to pay for our, our transgressions with our nation. So, hey, man, that, that cup is going to be passed over to y'all, man. Okay. Them devils came in the name of Christianity. Yep. They came in the name of what law, right? That was the law of the land to own slaves, to do whatever you want to do with them. Christianity. Yep. Yeah, you motherfuckers. But listen, listen to this. And it says, And cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So this also lets you know right here that your lineage, your nation is built from men. Not from women, from men. So basically what the Lord is saying, he's going to cut all off that piss up against the wall, roughly paraphrasing like King David, man. You know? The fall of America, man. Got anything else, Rock? Uh, man, look, man, that's all for that, man. Let's give all praises and honor and glory to our mighty power. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Hashem. Kodash. Double honor to the apostles. Upgrade notes on that teaching real well. Citations to the elect men, women, and children. And let's keep pushing and keep fighting. And call hello, y'all. Shalom.